Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Terraria. And today I am very, very excited. Because look who's walking up to my house. It is Trevon the Arms Dealer. And as you can see, we've extended the height of our base to fit the form that I was imagining at the start. Of course, it looks very ugly at the moment because it's not finished and I will need to be changing the geometry. A few things that I don't like is these things are not at the end of it. So that means if I want to continue going a straight line up, I will have to put it here, which cannot be used. So I will have to move this entire shaft to the right of it. And also I think I might need to change the dimensions, because right now I feel like it's too small. I mean, we can always go bigger and go to another layer underground. But I feel like I want more rooms here. Like, I want this part to fit at least three more rooms. So, I don't know, we might make this a little bit bigger, which will automatically raise the height because of the thing we're going for. But I'm not gonna bother with it too much. Today we are doing something really, really exciting. Oh my goodness, worms. <laughs> Hold on. This is a little exciting. Can I catch him with the thing? Oh, yeah. I could have caught him with it. Oh, I can catch goldfish like that. Interesting. It says consumable, but I can't consume it. Anyway, uh, let's put the worms and the fish where they're supposed to go. Uh, I don't know if you also saw this, but we made quite a bit of improvement on our tanks. Everything now has its own tank. We got rid of the statues because I can't store statues forever. What the actual hell? You fucking chill. Uh, but yeah, uh, we also got this dryad lady apparently. When I made these rooms, all sorts of NPCs started to appear, including our mechanic that we found earlier, the fishing guy. We got this nurse, we got the dryad. But most excitingly, I was. Can I catch this squirrel? Oh my god, we can catch the squirrel. That's so. And what can I do with a squirrel? Not sure. Can I use it as a pet or something? Where is the pet? What the hell is this? Show me. Oh, right, that's the sharp button. Oh, we can't use it. <laughs> we throw it out. Alright, so what do, you, what do you sell? Have you got a verification status? Blockbuster is 5%. You are so close. Okay. So she sells seashells. Don't buy the seashore. No, she sells prevents you from accidentally destroying while in the inventory. What? Pumpkin seed, dirt rod, magically moves dirt. Flower wall, wrinkled planter box. All right, so she's a hippie. There is thinking no good hippie. Right. <clears throat> Let's talk to the arms dealer. He sells a flint stock pistol, which is not better than the spear handgun we found, and also a mini shark, which is actually quite important, but you will find out why in future episodes. Uh, but yeah, a mini shark is like the first gun that you have access to. We need a ton of musket balls. You might be wondering why we need all these musket balls. 10,000 should be enough. Look at that shit. Isn't that great? That's great, right? It is insanely fast. But our. I like this better. Makes it. Kevin the Guide. Who is Kevin the Guide? Oh, that's the new guy. Sorry, dude. That's the guy that died. <laughs> anyway, uh, we want actually to make 
Fucking thanks and bullets, like I promised you guys a few thousand episodes ago that we will be making things and bullets at some point. How do we make things and bullets? Uh, yep, here. So they provide 9 range damage, which is better than the 7 that the musket ball does. That's kind of disappointing. So might as well turn as much of this as possible into that. Alright. Uh, and where should we put this excess ammo, you may ask? We have a... Ammo place thing. Alright, sort everything, sort everything, deposit everything. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what does more damage. This has 33% chance to save ammo, half shark, half gun, completely awesome. <laughs> and I'm just gonna tell you now, this upgrades to a very strong weapon. I think it's one of the strongest guns in the game. But in the meantime, we'll just be using this, which should be just as good. And we may summon the eyeball thing again, just to show you how much better it is. But instead, we're gonna be fighting a brand new boss. Uh, we also got this money turtle, which I actually haven't seen how it works. So apparently, we can summon a fine mini thing. And we can access our stuff. Isn't that great? So we can even dump non-money stuff here. Which is great. Pew, pew, pew. So yeah, we want to go to this crimson bullshit place that... I think is actually getting larger every day. But I'm not too worried about that at the moment. So we want to go and find these weird hearts that we found earlier. That is cool, but not as cool as this. And I think not as strong as this as well. Alright, so if we go down this, what will we find? I also found out that these are altars that you can craft stuff on them. Uh, no. I think. Crimson altar, crimson altar. Uh, where the ice thing? Hmm. That was. I remember us. Oh, there it is. Crimson Heart. Alright, that's what actually we're looking for. So we're gonna have to, oh my goodness, go all the way there. That's alright though. I have the patience for that, hopefully. <laughs> so let's go check it out. Keep getting vertebrae, which we don't really need at the moment. I think it was somewhere around here. And yeah, that's where it was. Alright, let's so go down this. Let's re equip our double, triple jump thing. Go down this pyramid. I mean, we're kind of at the edge of. The interestingness of what we can find in these caves, which is a sad statement to make. I mean, we could go to hell, but I don't think we're ready for that. <laughs> and yes, there is a hell in this game as well. If you dig way, way, way down there, you reach a very bad fiery place. Uh, wait, stop. Here are the Crimson Hearts. So apparently the way you summon this boss, and that's like the flying brain guy, is... Oh, you need to fucking dig through this. can dig through this. What? Oh shit. Alright, big fail. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, we're not ready for this. Not that we don't have the gear, we just can't smash the hearts because we can't get one. But that sucked. Let's see, what can we do instead? Let me just pause for a second. Alright, we're back. So, we mustn't despair and worry because we can summon this boss. We just need ready brain and or uh, terrification powder, which, where is it? There it is. And we got like 200. Should be good. Right, and uh, let's go back to the crimson. Do, 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 do. I wanna. Oh, shit. That is not what I wanted. See you in a second. Alright, we're back. And I realize that this way to get here is not very effective. But. Alright, so our first attempt here is gonna be to do this. Oh. Yep, that works. Right? Yes, it does. So that purifies the stone and turns it into a regular stone that we can actually mine. So when we get to this heart, we can just grab our hammer. So grab our hammer. And smash it. What the hell did we do? The Undertaker? Oh my god, is that a that's not a better gun, right? I mean, let's compare them. Yeah, it's not a better gun. But it is again. And it sounds really cool. The Undertaker. Right, uh, where's the next one? There's another altar and there's another heart. Uh, we are looking for hearts, so let's go grab that heart and then we'll look for the third one so when you destroy the third one if i remember correctly he summons immediately so i don't know how we're gonna be remotely ready for that but we'll try our best because we haven't set up a battle arena or something maybe we can try to climb towards the surface and on the surface, at least, we can jump and hide him a little bit. But, yeah. Alright, let us... Do the purification powder here as well. That works. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. That is such a good thing. Alright. Come here, asshole. Crimson Heart. We got the actual heart. Summon a heart to provide light. Oh, don't mind if I do. It's a flying butt, it's not a heart. What are you talking about? Alright, so we found two hearts, but not much else. So I'm thinking for the last one we're gonna get up here and try to go from above. That way we can hopefully take the same way back. And climb toward, climbs towards the surface so that we don't get completely obliterated. And I want to catch that. Sorry for being distracted as hell, but we want fireflies. That's three fireflies we got. Can we use them for anything? Uh, yeah, fucking bait. I do it. I know it. All right. Uh, so the other way to summon him would be to... I was kind of hoping on more life here. Would be to make like a thing from the vertebrate. So if we go over here, we go to crafting. Oh, we got the bread. I don't know why it's crafting. Alright. Thought that it will work, but it doesn't. What happens if we purify this? Nothing apparently. Alright. So we will be using. Oh. Oh, I'm not 
towel. I'll take that. If you don't mind. That didn't help at all. Uh, I wanted to actually drain this blood propulsion. That way, hopefully, we can see the heart or other interesting stuff. I'm not sure there's too much of around here. There is a statue. Shield statue. Uh, there is a bunch of Crimson Hearts, and wow, there's a lot of them too. Alright, so actually, this place doesn't look like a bad place to set up an arena. I mean, look at it, it's wide, it's nice. I think it actually might be a great place to fight the boss. Uh, just put some light around here. I know we are emitting light, but I still like to see where I'm going. Right. Oh, shit. That. Ooh, can you stop doing what you're doing? Thank you. Uh, where are there health potions? We don't have any health potions. That sucks. Alright. So let's set up the arena. Uh, like some wooden platforms. We'll try it like that. And if he fucking destroys us, then we'll do a little bit more preparation. We'll put our, uh, some lanterns and stuff. But I want to try it like this. Like you would regularly stumble upon this without knowing that he's going to fly out and try to bite your head off. Alright, that's one floor. We are actually very lucky. I don't know if this is intentionally big like that, but having such a great place, I don't know if, that's, if it's that way. Right. We're gonna get spiders and everything all the time. Uh, I guess we could destroy the walls behind, but I don't know if that won't lead to other... Shall we destroy the wall so that these guys can't fucking climb around us? Yeah, let's do it. Let's be smart about this. I feel like that's the smart thing to do. I have no reason to do that. Maybe we'll get like these flying assholes instead. A goblin army is approaching from the east. Holy shit. Alright. Slight change of plans. <laughs> We need to deal with that. Where is East? East is that way, right? So we're gonna fight these goblins instead. These are kind of annoying. Where are you assholes? This is East, right? I mean, that's what it said, but a goblin is approaching from the East. Alright, so where the hell are they? We are also going to take this opportunity to get some potions and stuff. Oh. Do you know what East is? Holy hell. That's a sorcerer. Oh yeah, that is East. Can we try our guns? I don't think the guns are better than our freaking staff. But our staff does have a very limited mana consumption. But it kills everything so much quicker. It's insane. Are they gonna drop anything useful? At least, hopefully, maybe. We're not full, eh? but I don't see us picking up anything useful. I think people farm them for these spiky balls. I mean, that's like the main idea of 
trying to spawn the uh, goblin army invasion. But I don't know if I'm gonna be using that. Probably gonna use it. I think there was like one boss that dies very easily if you use those metal balls. But come on, we're making these huge weapons and staffs and crazy ass weapons so we can use fucking spiky balls. Like, that's the peak of weapon manufacturing spiky balls. Tally counter. I swear I had one. I don't know if they give me stats if I don't equip them. They probably don't, right? Otherwise, it would be just too OP. Okay, the army. Alright. So, that was less exciting than anticipated, but that's good, I guess. Uh, let's deposit the gold we had. Oh, not destroy it. I keep using control when I should be using shift. Uh, yeah, let's sort stuff and deposit them. That weight. That weight! So, next time we will be fighting the brain. Sorry that we couldn't do it today. But I will set up everything and it will be fun. Till next time.